Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mike here. It's Saturday. Hope you have a great Easter weekend. A uh, little weather update for you. Going to the Rays game, so I wanted to make sure to catch everybody up to date here on the tropics. We had to have a little something, something in the golf this week. Still, still seeing uh, some more chatter about it from some other. So uh, it's definitely something. Kind of keep an eye on. Nothing, nothing to worry about. But we got this big frontal line right now. The radar is above me. Uh, heavy rain right now in the southeast across the Carolinas. Uh, but what usually happens early season, uh, these fronts dangle. <laughs> and sometimes the tails of these fronts leave behind a little bit of energy that can spin up. That's that's the, the source for early season tropics are these fronts. And it looks like we're going to have that, that little bit of spinach this week in the Gulf here. Um, later season we get tropical waves and a little too early for that. But this, this front that we're looking at right now is actually going to uh, possibly bring in something... Um, this week so let me show you the latest models tropicaltidbits.com we love the site uh, nothing's changed too much uh, we're gonna get to midweek here we're just gonna see everything start to fester up here Wednesday so upper golf still heavy rain a little bit of signs of low pressure possibly spinning here towards the um, upper golf uh, through through the week here and uh, we got a lot of wind shear a lot of winds ab above that are be coming in from the the uh, the west and that's blowing all that moisture still towards Florida, the southeast here. That's why the latest GFS, uh, not particularly my favorite model, but uh, most of this juice is being blown off towards Florida. That's why the rain chances in Florida are definitely picking up later in the week, Wednesday, especially Thursday. Uh, most of this clears out by Friday. Uh, the latest Euro here, kind of showing the same thing. A little bit of a, a you know, little bit of spinach there coming up. Um, we can see that rain stretching the peninsula on Thursday. There's our main center. Nothing, you know, strong showing, nothing to stress about. Icon a little stronger. You know, we could be getting close to tropical storm, subtropical storm range. The icon's correct. This is the latest 12Z. Uh, that normal pattern or this consistent pattern we've been seeing is this thing getting pulled to the north. There's a high pressure building in over here uh, that's going to pretty much dry the center this way. But again, all that moisture along with wherever this sucker, you know, ends up will bring a lot of rain so the icons really good model it's interesting you know right around a thousand millibar um could bring some wind to the upper gulf but again you know heavy storms possibly later wednesday into thursday for the florida peninsula um the latest canadian model is being run now let's pull back to 12z and you can kind of see the same scenario uh weak low pressure coming up uh through the middle to the end of the week there so most of it's gone by Friday. The good news uh, for most folks is that by Friday, let's go to the Euro here, take a look. Most of this stuff's gone by Friday for at least the uh, upper Gulf in Florida. The East Coast then might get some of this on Saturday to watch whatever's left. Uh, could bring in some storms in off that Gulf Stream. Uh, thought this was interesting. You know, sign of the tropics are slowly waking up. This is a tropical probability map we use a lot during the season. First time we've seen any sort of activity on it. Uh, it's only 5% chance here, uh, you know, tropical storm depression range. Nothing to worry about. But it is a sign that season's um, waking up. First time this has had any activity on it. So, yes, me next month, May, we're going to be dealing with uh, updates from the NHC uh, uh, 2 o'clock, 8 o'clock. They're going to start updating uh, May 15th. So I wanted to point this one out. This is the UK model. It did pretty good last year. Uh, it's showing our center, you know, a little bit more to the east, more into Florida, which would mean, obviously, more rain. Um, Gulf temperatures, you know, they're hanging around 80, 81 in the middle, but they're still in the 70s uh, in the upper Gulf. So, you know, not ideal conditions for this thing to get too strong. Still 80 is the number. So, you're starting to hear a little bit more chatter that we could see something subtropical. That's more of a, a cold core, upper, wider spreading system, but same effects, just wider away from center, which would impact more along Florida uh, if that was indeed a subtropical type of system. Uh, upper level wind shear, uh, we've been monitoring this a lot. It is going to be clearing out towards the end of the week. There's still a lot of wind shear. These brown colors, uh, strong wind, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour uh, knots. Uh, above and like I said, you know, wherever our system is, these winds blow uh, all the tops of these storms to the east, and that also keeps it from developing into anything too too strong. So this is going to be welcoming for Florida. Depending on whatever happens here with the rain, you can just follow the rain trail. It's going to definitely bring rain along the southeast coast. It all depends on where it sets up, uh, but there is 
going to be rain coming this week. And, of course, Florida needs it. Latest drought was released this Thursday. Uh, most of the peninsula is in a severe drought. So Mother Nature trying to even things out this week. So still nothing official. This is where you're going to want to look here if the NHC decides to uh, make a little yellow circle. But right now they're not. So nothing really to worry about. Just rain's coming. Have a great Easter, like I said. I hope you're having a great weekend. We'll uh, see you live Monday morning, uh, 9, 19 Eastern for the Daily Brew. All right. See you.